because if you're banking on Baker Mayfield, good luck with that. Greetings and salutations and welcome to the Odd Coaches Podcast preview of the NFC South. I am your host, Dr. Keith Adams, doing my best imitation of either Stephen A. Smith or Joey Styles as I go at it alone. And we're going to talk about the NFC South. So in segment one, we're going to do over-unders and strength of schedule. Segment two, again, all of that strictly for entertainment purposes only. Segment two, we're going to talk about the major storylines of the NFC South. And segment three, we're going to do the predicted order of finish. So let's get started. The New Orleans Saints. Nine and a half over under 10 wins. If you want the pay window on the over and the 31st strength of schedule. So they have one of the worst schedules in terms of teams that they play. So it's kind of lining up for them. So I'm going to keep an eye on the saints. I'm going to do some more homework and research on it. And if you're into things strictly for entertainment purposes only, I would keep an eye on the saints. The Atlanta Falcons, eight wins, according to my numbers. So you got over, you got under, and you've got an opportunity for a push. They have the easiest schedule in the league. I got to keep an eye on them because they do have the easiest schedule in the league. And although I'm not a big fan, they keep telling me, meaning, People I talk to, the coaches, the fans, whoever I'm talking to says Atlanta's got skill players. Even point five says they've got skill players. So we'll keep an eye on them. Carolina's a sleeper. Carolina's a sleeper. Seven and a half over under and uh, 27th strength of schedule. And they've got Bryce Young and they've got him under contract. They got Frank Wright, and they got, you know, a pretty daggum easy schedule. So I don't know if I'm going to mess with them or not, but I messed with New Orleans last year, got my feelings hurt. I don't know which direction I'm going to take. And then finally, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, rent, don't own, because if you're banking on Baker Mayfield, good luck with that. Okay, good luck with that. So, again, uh, Saints, nine and a half, 31 strength of schedule. Atlanta, eight wins, 32. Carolina, seven and a half, 27. And Tampa Bay, six and a half, 22. That's just going to be tough. NFC South's not that good. So, outside of maybe one bet season long, I'm not going to touch it. So when we get back in segment two, we're going to talk about the major storylines of the NFC South. We'll be right back on the iCoaches podcast. The CKA SAVE Project is an industry leader in advocating for student-athlete, academic, and athletic needs. Through academic and athletic enrichment, the CKA SAVE Project is on the forefront of the issues facing 21st century student-athletes. As student-athletes continue to struggle to find a better balance between academic and athletic success, the CKA SAVE Project offers academic and athletic services to support student-athlete academic success, including academic skills assessment, academic and athletic consulting, academic monitoring, academic and athletic workshops. For more information or to schedule a free consultation, contact Dr. Keith Adams by email at cka at cka.saveproject.org. Welcome back to the Odd Coaches Podcast and in segment two of our NFC South preview. We're going to talk major storylines for the NFC South. First and foremost, can New Orleans find their quarterback of the future? They went away from uh they went away from crab legs and went to Derek Carr. Okay. So uh Good luck with that. He's 32. Uh, Man, that strength of schedule is weak, and they're going to have a chance. So uh, they got two good quarterbacks in Derek Carr, Jameis Winston. 
They got a weak schedule. So their car's their guy. We'll see what happens. And you got crab legs sitting in the background waiting. Two, can Atlanta get out of their own way? The more I dig into the Atlanta Falcons, the more I'm kind of softening on them because they don't play anybody. Desmond Ritter had a decent career at Cincinnati. They've got a good tight end. They've got some wideouts. Defense is marginal. But again, they've got the worst, or dare I say, the easiest schedule in the league. So an opportunity is there. An opportunity is there. So keep your eye on the Atlanta Falcons. Number one pick comes with number one expectations. So the Carolina Panthers have Frank Wright, local guy. Um, and I've, I've always been a big fan of him. Bryce Young, we've done some stories on him. They say nice things about him in terms of his maturity, his leadership, uh, his swagger, if you will. It's kind of lining up. At, and again, going back to that strength of schedule, they're not playing a murderer's row. It's not like the Jets who are like playing people. It's not like the Eagles who are playing people. So keep an eye on that. I think you're going to get some good value strictly for uh, entertainment purposes with the Falcons. I mean, I'm sorry, with uh, the Panthers. So their expectations may be a little higher than, than coming in, but I, again, keep an eye on them. And then finally, I say all the time, rent don't own with Todd Bowles because he's got nothing, and I can't bank on Baker. So Tampa Bay, good luck. It's just going to be challenging for you all year long. It really is. And I, I hope their fan base gives me some hope when this comes out. So I'll be looking forward to hearing from the Tampa Bay Bucks fan base. But when we come back on the Odd Coaches podcast, we're going to make our season predictions, playoff predictions. We'll be right back. The high school and college academic and athletic landscape is changing. The growing number of college transfers, as well as student athletes being able to profit off the use of their name, image, and likeness has given student athletes the freedom and power to make life-changing decisions. That is why it is important for student athletes to be properly informed throughout the decision-making process. The difference between success and failure is often measured not by yards, but by inches, and even the most successful coaches and players use outside independent consultants to help improve their decision making, which improves their results. That is what the CKA Save Project would like to do for student athletes across the country, improve their academic and athletic results. Our academic and athletic consulting services assist student athletes with the college decision making process. The CKA team of former high school and college coaches can provide student athletes an independent assessment of their academic and athletic skills to assist student athletes in their college decision making process. Let the CKA team evaluate your academic and athletic ability to assist you in finding the right fit for your academic and athletic career. For more information, visit us on the web at www.cka-saveproject.org or schedule a free virtual consultation with Dr. Keith Adams by email at cka at cka-saveproject.org. Welcome back to the Odd Coaches Podcast season preview of the NFC South. And let's get to the predicted order of finish. I got New Orleans as one. They're going to win the NFC South. It would it would be a surprise if they did not. I, I would definitely be surprised. Two, the Atlanta Falcons. They will be the second best team because they've got these weapons they keep telling me about. And they're not Tampa Bay. So uh, three is Carolina. I think the kid's going to come in and have an opportunity to be rookie of the year. And I'm talking about Bryce Young because he's going to get the reps. He's going to get the time. He's going to get the throws. And he's going to be able to kind of figure it out a little bit better than maybe some of the other rookies. Uh, and then fourth place, Tampa Bay. They Not a lot going for him. And I hope uh, Tabo's going to keep his job. I hope he does. Uh, playoff team, only one's coming out of here, and that's New Orleans. And there are new, I repeat, no Super Bowl winners coming out of the NFC South. Final thoughts, it's a bad division. New Orleans will be the best of the worst. 
and they'll get drubbed in the playoffs and we'll move on with our lives. It's kind of how I see it. Uh, good luck to uh, Bryce Young and trying to get some individual accolades, but it won't be for the teams. Atlanta will tease you because Atlanta sports kind of teases you all the time. And there's no way I'm back in Tampa Bay. I'm I'm sorry. When there's a choice, I'm picking the other team. So on behalf of our cavalcade of stars, Dr. Keith Adams saying thank you for listening and are watching the Odd Coaches podcast preview of the NFC South. And we will see you on the sidelines. Till next time, take care. The Odd Coaches podcast is sponsored by the CKA Save Project. The CKA Save Project is an industry leader in providing student-athlete academic and athletic support. From assessing student-athletes' academic and athletic skills to measuring and monitoring student-athlete academic progress to improving student-athlete time management and organizational skills, the CKA Save Project provides wraparound services for student-athletes from middle school through college. For more information, visit us on the web at www.ckasaveproject.org or schedule a free consultation with Dr. Keith Adams by emailing cka at cka.saveproject.org. We hope you enjoyed today's show. The Odd Coaches Podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday through Friday on most weeks. Make sure you subscribe to the Odd Coaches Podcast on Apple Music, iHeartRadio, Podbean, Spotify, and YouTube. Follow the Odd Coaches Podcast on Twitter and Instagram at Odd Coaches. Follow Dr. Adams on Twitter and Instagram at CKA Save Project. In addition, follow Coach Mike Francis on Twitter and Instagram at Coach Franchise, spelled Coach F-R-A-N-C-H-I-Z-E. For more information about the CKA Save Project, please visit them on the web at www.ckasaveproject.org. See you next time on the Odd Coaches Podcast.